like where the screen comes out. Oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're definitely off screen. Yeah, because it comes down the wall with it. Yeah, because yeah. it's really loud. Okay, yeah. All right, Joe, bring something out. All right. Brought to you by a little booby. Little bit of booby.
Ladies and gentlemen, you're here. We're here. There's no turning back now. So put your hands together and welcome the host of 44 Charlton Street, Julian Fleischer. Now, Liza Johnson and her man, well, they had a falling out. Things got rough, but he came back. Last night, about nine o'clock, now he put his key in the old front door, but the key wouldn't fit the lock. And just as he was about to try again, he heard Miss Liza shout a one, two, three. You got the right key, but the wrong keyhole. I couldn't get along with you to save my soul. Yesterday I went down to the hardware store and I bought another lock for my door. I got a new man, he is better than you. He starts his loving where you get through. So take a tip, my honey, and lay my door. Because your key don't fit in my lock no more. You got the right key. You work. to see you. I have been missing you for so long. It feels like March was extra long. Am I right? Did it take extra long to get through March? And now we're halfway through April and we're finally here for the April edition of 44 Charlton. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Julian Fleischer. I'm a sensitive soul with a very thin skin. So I hope you will clap loudly for me throughout the evening so that I can get through it for, with, by, and around you. All those delicious prepositions. Who's this handsome fellow? <laughs> this is John Sperney on the piano, ladies and gentlemen. Music director of the 44 Child Tones. You'll remember our friends Leon Boykins and Ben Ahrens on bass. We have such a fabulous show for you tonight. Um, a bunch of people whom I know well and I'm excited to share with you and then a bunch of people I've never heard before whom I'm excited for you to share with me. Isn't that nice? It's a give and take. That's what we do here every month. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was almost the turnaround, but I gotta go back to the top of the song now because I came in at the wrong part. It's gonna be fine, everybody. You stay with me? Go ahead, snap. Yeah, there you go. Get involved. Get involved with me. Come on. Give me some loving in return. Thank you so much. I was in the wrong place. <laughs> We're going to go back to the top of the song. Well, you got the right key, but the wrong key hole. Couldn't get along with you to save my soul. Yesterday I went down to the hardware store and I got another lock for my door. I got a new man, better than you. He starts his loving where you get through. So take a tip, my honey, and leave my door.
Thank you ever so much. Thank you. So, um, where do we begin with this, this extraordinary month we have all been through? Um, it's hard really even uh, to talk about it all, but I think it's gonna be okay. That's just what I like to say to myself the first Friday of every month here at 44 Charlton because this has been a, you know, our, our, our seasons here have tracked pretty closely with the, the, the nation's political fortunes. And month after month, it's been very useful to me to have this show to fill my tanks with the kind of love and energy I require to get through to the next month. And I hope it does the same thing for you. I'd like to take just a quick demographic survey, if I may, um, just to see who we got in the room tonight. Uh, if you are a person who identifies, self-identifies, that's important, as cis female, please raise your hand. Okay, cis, you know what that means? It means uh, that's you, you feel like you are the gender you had at birth, essentially, cis. Uh, and how about male? Raise your hand, please. Okay, keep them up. Now, if you are, if your hand is up and you are a, a person who identifies as male, also self-identifies as gay, keep your hand in the air, please. Terrific, terrific. And now of those, who identifies as single? <laughs> All right, meet me over here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a new segment on the show. It's called Hook Me Up. Yeah. Come on. Come on up. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. I'm so glad you could be with me. Sit have a seat. I'm going to make this easy for you by sharing some of my very special uh, brew here. What is your name? Greg. Can you put that mic up near your mouth? Greg. Hi, Greg. What brings you here tonight? You. Oh. <laughs> ah, this is working out just as I planned. Can I offer you a little bourbon? I'd love some. Good. Thank this you. is this is not bad stuff, actually. Oh, gosh. Um, Greg, uh, are you a New Yorker or are you visiting? I live here. You live here in New York? Yes. Um, speak up just a little, so I want to. I live here. There I, you are. I'm a native New Yorker. I grew up on Long Island. You're born here. Yes. Oh my goodness. I was born in Brooklyn. Oh. So how yeah. many other people are actually born in New York? Oh, see, but how many of you consider yourself New Yorkers anyway, <laughs> right? Because that's what we're here for. That's the beauty. Oh, let, me, let me just get this poured for you Thank right you away. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, Greg, you are a native New Yorker, yes. born here, bred here, live here. Mm -hmm. What can I ask do you do, and can I offer you that drink? Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers to your health, and thank you and for cheers. joining me on the small stagel area. <laughs> well, like so many other New Yorkers, I'm a performer. I'm an actor. You? No. I am. Really? Yes. I know that comes as a huge surprise to everyone here. <laughs> well, now that you're I starting am. to get comfortable, I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. Um, you're an actor? I am. Do you sing, too? I don't sing. Oh. You have a beautiful speaking voice, Well, though. thank you. Very resonant and, and expressive. Wow. Is this going to help me not be single anymore, do you think? I should think that all of your assets would help you oh. in that department. So you think I have assets? Oh, yeah, you got assets. Okay. <laughs> Girl, you got nice touché, assets. Touche. Yeah, touché. thank you. Where uh, are you performing right now? Somewhere? I'm not. Well, that's I'm too in, bad because I'm this would have been a remarkable promotional opportunity. <laughs> well, now that I know where to find you, I'll have to come back with something. Yeah, well, do you have anything in the future that we can look forward to? Uh, no. Are you... <laughs> Are you a member of a theater company? I am, as a matter of fact. Oh, what company? A very, very, very extraordinary theater company that's very close to my heart called Elevator Repair Service. You mean ERS, the e Elevator e Repair e Service? Yes. As New a York City's premier downtown theater company? The premier downtown Well, that's company. fabulous. Yes. That must be why you seem vaguely familiar to me. Oh. I've seen a lot of their plays. Um, I'm well, the black guy in it. You're <laughs> and sometimes women. <laughs> so, yeah. um, well, that's nice of you to do that for them. Hmm. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Listen, I'm going to move on because we have uh, my my director would like me. To Are keep you going to get me rolling. a date? I thought that's why I was up here. Honey, you're on a date right now. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think this is? So, my my dear friends. Um, 
I'm very excited about this next uh, act. They are all um, people uh, who've, who've been part of my life in one way or another for a very long time. And uh, some of them have been here before uh, on, under other auspices. But I'm just going to read briefly. Oh, oh. Um, they are a band. They have a website, thewitchones.com. And you can find them on social media at The Witch Ones. Are they quite ready to be introduced? Yeah. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Please prepare to clap loudly and quickly and for a very long time for the Witch Ones. <laughs>
Next one. Two, three, four. ones, ladies and gentlemen. This one's not for everybody, just the sexy people. <laughs> it is so nice to see you all here, decked out so beautifully, bringing some, some genuine showbiz to the proceedings. Thank you so much. Uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Please talk to me. What's your name? Kate Skelsa. Hi, Kate Skelsa. Hi. It's so nice to see you. You've actually been here before. Yeah. Yeah. We did a reading of one of your plays, yep. a preview. Yeah, and here. I made you read in it, too. You did. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> well, it was only because um, our friend Mike was, is not, uh, was, what, on Broadway? No, it's because I like you better. Oh, there you go. That's the spirit. So tell me a little bit about the witch ones. What makes you so witchy? Well, we uh, started to combat the forces of evil in the world because we were on tour together living a block from the White House. Ooh. Uh, and we needed to conjure up some good energy for yeah, ourselves and sure. for the area around us. It was the fall of 2017 when we started playing, and we were living. Yeah, we were on. We had been put in artist housing a block from the White House. Oh my God! So we started writing songs during the day on tour before shows. And that's the energy you use to to keep the the, the evil stuff. At we're trying. I'm trying for myself. It's working. I'm I feel completely renewed by that last number. I'm so glad. That's the idea. Um, 
And the number before that was... Uh, that's called The Tower, and that's about the, a tarot card that's called The Tower. That's about total destruction. The card is? Yeah, the card is called The Tower. And, um, I mean, I have my cards, but I'm not going to pull that one out, because we're going to... Yeah, we don't want to do gonna that. Go, we don't want to do gonna, that. Um, but the so tower, you brought your tower. I have my cards, my tarot cards. See, now that you said tower. Tower and tarot. The, ta ta the tarot tower the card. The tarot is... Can you do a little reading for the me? I'm going to do a little reading. Can we do a speed tarot? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're going to do it real quick. Just one card, we're figure on, out. and then you just tell me all I about might have you pulled two. I'm going to see what you pull. I'm going to see how I feel about it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to see. So I'm just going to pull whatever... What it feels right. You're going to feel into it. Feel... Feel deep. I'm feeling. I'm a Scorpio. I'm I know you are. Feeling very deeply. I know you always are. All Let right. me see what you I got. I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Let's see. <laughs> All right, what'd you get? Uh, so I look at it? Yeah. Does it matter the direction that I look at it? Not for me. I don't read reversals. Oh, nice. Nice. So. <laughs> see? Thank you. That is so uh, 2019. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, no, that doesn't look good at all. All right, pull one more. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, we're going to do present and future. We're going to see where we're headed. Okay. <laughs> we're going to see where we need to go. These three blood-dripping swords wrapped it's in It's fine. Blood. Don't. <laughs> not, no card is bad or good. There's no judgment. All right, I'm feeling, I'm feel, feeling, feel I'm feeling, I'm it. feeling. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oy vey, Zmir. Okay, well, oh, my God, this is very beautiful. Okay, so you're going from three of swords energy to three of pentacles energy. And they're both threes. Are you involved in a threesome now? <laughs> <laughs> Is that... I mean... I, <laughs> but it's going... <laughs> I'm in an eightsome. It's going it. from tangled up energy into mountain climbing. I mean, it's very literal when I look at these images from this deck, but literally going from being tangled and kind of struggling at the bottom of this mountain to now we're going to move up, and we're going to move up with the help of other people. You're going to move up with the help of the energy that's around you. But this, we want to get out of this. We really do. You don't need to be all <laughs> tangled up in this. I don't know. I don't feel that at all. Um, we'll, we'll move toward just a simple threesome. Um, just a nice threesome <laughs> at the top of a mountain. If you could schedule what? a trip, like a threesome at the top of a mountain. So if take you could a go on a vacation to like, to like, like a... Oh, to Fire Island or something. And then... I mean, this is telling me mountains, but... Oh. I, whatever. Oh, like Whistler. Okay, I'll go to like the gay w weekend at Whistler with, uh, and with my witchy stars. And Was that a three or a seven up there? Oh, That's your three. Three of oh, pentacles. Okay, great. Well, I found this very helpful. <laughs> 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 really enlightening. Um, let's, um, let's get back to the music. Can yeah. I ask you guys to do another number for me yeah. and my yeah. friends out here? All right. Um, thank you so much for that speed tarot round. I know Anytime. that I, I really tied your hands, but you came through beautifully. Uh, this is the which ones, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 
follow, but not a living is just the best educated guess. Never mind unless. One, two, three, four! Oh, you make the return trip And you wonder where the love is gone I'm a dead girl now So good luck, you're stuck, good luck Ladies and gentlemen, aren't they beautiful? Thank you so much. Keep clapping. Give them, give them some extra applause. Give them some extra love. Be sure to follow them online so you can uh, catch their next gig. Thank you so much. So you know how it is here at 44 Charlton. We have a few traditions that we cling to, perhaps <laughs> foolishly, throughout the years. And uh, one of our favorites is our monthly game. Uh, and we, we will try anything, stupidly, to keep ourselves entertained because <laughs> um, we gave up on you a long time ago. Here is my beautiful producer, Jennifer Sendro, ladies and gentlemen. Why, hello. You may remember her from her, her epic 20-minute set at the beginning of the show. I'm here all week. Yeah. Um, so what are we playing tonight? Playing bingo, dude. We're playing bingo. Yeah. Forty-four Charlton style bingo. Forty-four Charlton style bingo. So no numbers. We're not math people. Julian. No. We're word people. We put words on them. That's exactly right. Yeah. You should see the the difference, but the the dis, the difference between my math SAT and my verbal. Um, to say nothing of my oral. So listen. Um, uh, Don't start talking about your keyhole again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I've heard about. enough about your keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody knows that our mission here at 44 Charlton is to uh, celebrate the restless, creative spirit of New York City. The people, the performers, the artists, and the audiences who love being here more than anywhere else. That's why we put up with it. And so our bingo game is likewise devoted to New York. So if you will uh, take out the cards you received at the beginning of the night, you will see that each of these uh, 44 Charlton Get Sprung Bingo cards uh, includes a list of words associated with our fair city. And what I'm going to do is play bingo with y'all. You ready? Got your, your little club pencils, your little know, George would, Bush don't golf. Don't you wish we had those fun little bingo markers and the little oh, troll yeah. dolls and all that kind of stuff? I do. I, I asked for that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Budget yeah. cuts. You'll see we also recycled some old WQXR card stock. <laughs> you flip all right. your card over. So these are things associated with New York City and only New York City. And we're just going to play bingo. You all know how it goes. Ready? Start marking your cards. We begin with... Uh, I'm trying not to look. I'm trying to be very super random about it. So then don't look. <laughs> Bums. <laughs> Is this the thing? Bums? Do we still use this word? No. How did this get into my bingo game? I don't know. Uh, Bums. I'm just telling you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, I hope Maybe you mean like mean these bums. Exactly. Like big bums. That's like what I, I like big like. bums and I cannot lie. A big All right. smelly <laughs> bum. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anybody got bingo yet? <laughs> it's, it's one word, Julian. Come the, on. The sooner you win, the quicker we can end this. Okay. All right. Let's Next. see. What do let's, we got? Let's, let's go. Oh, my goodness. A whole borough. Brooklyn, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and you get the middle for free. 
Of course. You get the 44 the, Charlton for free. 44 Charlton, of course, you get okay. for free. All right. They're Let's taking this going. very seriously. Let's keep it Look going. Look at their faces. They're hungry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Slightly anti Semitic bagel, ladies and gentlemen. How is that anti Semitic? You know why. All right, there we go. That's pro Semitic. No, there's no Bialy. It says bagel. Do I have a bingo? No. no okay, good. Moving going. on. Moving on. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Louis Armstrong, ladies and gentlemen. Not from here, but resides in Queen. What? We have a bingo? You? Yeah. You? You're the Ray! star of the show. Fabulous. Come on up here. You are, you are killing this evening. Come on back up here. It's Greg, my date from yeah. earlier. Choose a tote bag. Choose a fabulous These tote bags also tote have bag. a prize inside. It's a it's a funny book we found on the discard pile at <laughs> WNYC Talk Radio. <laughs> there you what go. Is it? Stay sexy and don't get murdered. Congratulations. <laughs> you really won tonight, my friend. Um, so keep your cards. We're gonna come back. There will be more bingo later. Thank you so much. All right. Greg, what a winner you are tonight. Uh, my next guest, ladies and gentlemen, um, I hope that uh, we're, we are ready for her, uh, is a writer for Late Night with Seth Meyers. She's a regular contributor to The New Yorker. That's classier than almost every other guest we've ever had. And she's a comedian about town. Find her online at, at KarenChi.com. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a warm 44 Jordan welcome to Karen Chi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Good? Yeah? Oh, this is a fun crowd. Um, hi, I'm Karen, and uh, I'm excited. I'm going to show you guys this fun PowerPoint. Um, so get ready. Uh, yeah, I run this show in town at this place called Caveat. That's called um, the Biodiversity Jam. And basically, I invite a bunch of comedians to come and talk about fun animals they like and make jokes about it. And I encourage them to put in facts. I will say most of the time there's you know not really any facts in there. But uh, we'll see how this goes. So I'm talking to you guys about this animal. It's called Darwin's Fox, also known as um, Darwin Zorro. And we'll start off with some fun fox facts. So uh, this little boy is endemic to Chile. Uh, he is the smallest fox out of all the foxes. And if you're trying to picture exactly how small that is, um, at its full grown weight, it weighs four to eight pounds. Um, and for context, I weigh about three pounds. So <laughs> if you are having trouble, you know, figuring out what that is, you can lift me and just know it's heavier than I am. <laughs> okay. Um, its tail can get from seven to 10 inches long, which is too long. <laughs> okay. Um, and it is known as an umbrella species, which means that if for some reason this um, species of animal were to die out, it would affect a lot of the other animals in its ecosystem. It's responsible for keeping the other uh, species sort of alive and doing well. Cool. Um, this is a fun photo of them just, I guess, hanging out under a bigger one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a literal umbrella species. Thank you, audience member who made that joke for me. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the fox was discovered by Charles Darwin, hence the name, and uh, I got this photo from Google, and I'm not gonna lie, Google could have shown me a photo of any old white man, and I would have been like, that's Charles Darwin. <laughs> and you might be like, no, I know who that is. In which case, I'll prove to you that's false, because I think Charles Darwin looks maybe exactly like Claude Monet. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I do feel like balding white men over a certain age, I'm like, you're all Santa. And uh, I mean that as a compliment, Santa's very hot. Okay. So, <laughs> moving on. Oh, yeah, so uh, Charles Darwin, we all know him from, you know, the HMS Beagle. That's like the most famous expedition that he went on. He went to the Galapagos. Um, he discovered this fox in December of 1834. And, oh, an important thing really quick is... Do you see how nice he looks? He looks like a sweet guy, right? Looks like he'd be like a cute grandpa figure. Um, okay, well, read this journal entry about him discovering this fox for the first time. The fox sat on the point and was so absorbed in watching survey work that he allowed me to walk behind him and actually kill him with my geological hammer. 
which is horrifying. That's crazy. That's him journaling, thinking that no one's going to read his journal, and hundreds of years later, we're all reading it. This man is psycho, because do you know what a geological hammer looks like? It looks like this. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, moving on. Here's another of these boys. <laughs> um... I keep, you know, saying it's a boy. That's because all animals are boys. We know this. It's just a fact. Um, okay, this leads to an important slide called Animated Foxes I Find Attractive. Thank you. This is very important. Um, I would say this is the most scientifically accurate part of this presentation. Uh, and a fun thing to know is that I talked to someone who runs an animation company recently, and she asked me, you know, sort of to break the ice, like, oh, like, which you know animations did you grow up with and which animations did you like? And for some reason, I just thought she meant like, which animated character do you most want to bone? Um, and so then I think I literally said, oh, I'm horned up for Robin Hood. And she went, what? <laughs> so then I had to sort of backtrack and then backtrack far enough that I left the cafe and just never saw her again. Um, animated foxes I find attractive. <laughs> We love him. He's, uh, you know, Nick in Zootopia. Smooth, suave, the voice of Jason Bateman, not the politics of Jason Bateman. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know his politics. I'm sure he's great. Um, Robin Hood, this is the aforementioned person I would like to bone. Um, Anderson Cooper, great fox. <laughs> yeah, give it up for Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to take a quick pivot from this and quickly tell you something about myself, which is that um, I just get, I'm just going to show you who my childhood crushes were and then my adulthood crushes <laughs> to prove an important point, which is that my childhood crush, Robin Hood, grown up crush, this boy. Um, my childhood crush was also Klaus Baudelaire from A Series of Unfortunate Events. Yeah, OG sad boy. He was so sad that he didn't have parents. <laughs> Uh, and then this guy from National Treasure, big nerd, okay. My adulthood crushes, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I would say somehow even sadder than Klaus. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Richard Ayoade. Okay, moving on. I have a consistent brand. That's the point I wanted to make. Um, also, I'm single. That's my phone number. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Uh, here's more pictures of foxes, I guess, just cuddling up together. They're very cute. Um, but now this is where I come to you with just something I need to get off my chest, which is I did a lot of Googling and I did a lot of reading uh, and then learned that actually this animal is not a fox. Um, Darwin's foxes are not actually foxes. Isn't that insane? They're wolves! <laughs> And they just are called foxes because Darwin came up with them, found them, named it after himself, which, wow, that's a move. Um, <laughs> right, very, like, man thing to do. And then he named it foxes, and everyone went, okay, well, you're Charles Darwin, so we believe what you say. And afterwards, they found out that it's not actually a fox, and they went, oh, but out of respect to Charles Darwin, we're going to keep calling it this. So we live in this world uh, where we believe in lies because white men came up with them. <laughs> So <laughs> I'm going to list a few other ones just in case, you know, you need your eyes opened. Other lies, Columbus discovered America, George Washington, the cherry tree story, that's a fable. Um, Jesus was a white capitalist, big lie. Mitch McConnell is a human, <laughs> not true. Crocs are cool, <laughs> white men are hot. Darwin's fox is a fox is the final one to join. Tragic. Um, and there are many more out there. <laughs> So I want to leave you with one thing, which is uh, why should you care? You know, like how badly is this animal endangered? A fun thing we do at our show is that a lot of comedians would like to present on an animal or an organism that they are particularly passionate about. And then afterwards, they'll link like, you know, here's a nonprofit organization or, you know, someplace you can donate to to help this animal. So for you, why should you care? It's not badly endangered. Um, it's doing fine. <laughs> you don't really have to care. <laughs> I'm just doing this presentation because I'm a comedian. I chose to do this with my life. Okay. Uh, some people became doctors and I became a comedian. <laughs> and that's fine, Mom. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That, that's why I'm here. Anyway, thank you guys for listening to me talk. I'm Karen Chi. Have a great night. <laughs> Karen Chi. Karen, don't leave. 
Don't leave. Come back. Can I ask you to join me over here on the small stodgel area? Hi. Oh, this is so cute. Isn't this nice? Hi. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that thank you for That was hilarious me. as promised. Yay. Thank you so much. Have a little seat. Awesome, awesome. Um, I would offer you bourbon, but I don't have another glass. I'll Come. just take the bottle. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> go for it, sweet. I'm going to take go this for it. upstairs. No, please, don't. don't. I mean, don't be shy. No. It's, it's alcohol. Oh. oh, thank you. Oh, isn't that delightful? That's there you go. Sweet. This will melt that cup. But um, nevertheless, let's get started. Yeah. So just tell me quickly, uh, sure. just a little bit about yourself. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from a suburb of San Francisco. Oh, Yeah, nice. I'm from the Bay Area. The Bay Area. You yeah. say that as if that's where we are, but we're not there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes, We're in New York. And yes. uh, what brought you here? Comedy? Yeah, comedy. Really? Yeah, I moved here because I uh, wanted to do it. And, uh, and here you are doing it. I know, crazy. <laughs> And where did you end up going to college? I went to Harvard. Oh. Yeah. How does that feel saying that? Uh, <laughs> I try to not say it as much as Isn't possible. Isn't that weird? Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> did your parents pay a lot of money for that? or? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you mean to get me in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, course, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say, um, like, probably no less than a Felicity Huffman amount. Oh, yeah. excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, here's to you. Where where can we Thank see you. you next performing? Um, I'm all around town. I got a monthly show at Union Hall called Decolonize Your Mind. Oh, my gosh. I, what, uh, what, what, what day of the month? It is the first Wednesday of every month. Excellent. So the next so one is May 6th. Fifth, fourth, the first Wednesday of May. Yeah, see, I can't do that either, but we will be there. Yay! Thank you so much. Now, I, I want to ask you if you'll help me with our next bingo round. Oh, sure. How do absolutely. you feel about that? Yes. All right. So, where's Jennifer with my bingo bowl? Um, she's, she's backstage. Just, uh, she'll be here in a second. And I'm going to ask you to pull the clues this time. Here she comes, my beautiful producer, Jennifer Sendro. And by beautiful, I mean inner beauty, of course. There you go. So I thought we might... <laughs> that was so weird. That sounded like a back. I just don't want to get in trouble 20 years from now and be accused of having called you beautiful and then Julie, lose my job. You answered... You started with a keyhole song. Oh, I mean, okay. I don't... <laughs> okay. I guess that's true. Yeah. All right. What? You're very beautiful inside and out. And so are Thank you. Oh, Can you reach worse, into that bowl dude. and... Pull out a clue. Sure. And do I just read it out loud? Yeah, just read it out loud. Or you can make a joke about it if you want. Okay, no jokes, just business. Corona <laughs> is the word. Corona. Yeah. Oh, like the neighborhood. Queens. That's in Queens. Who's from Queens? Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. Did you get Corona on your card? That's unfortunate. Let's keep going. All right. Buskers. Buskers. Those kindly folks on the subway. But keep us entertained on our ride. How are we doing? Anybody getting close? Keep going. One pizza? more. Pizza. Pizza. New York pizza. Bingo. Hey, Bingo. Bingo. Really? Come on up here, young man. Come on up. Let me borrow this from you, Karen. Thank you. Grab this. Talk into it. Let me check your card to make sure there was no cheating. Bagel pizza bums. <laughs> What's your name, young man? Joe. Hey, Joe. Where are you from? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. In the house, ladies and gentlemen. We have another winner. Oh, we have two winners. Oh, my gosh. Yay. Let me check this. Brooklyn Bagel Pizza. Busker. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you, Joe. Hang on. Let me give this to you. Where are you from? Uh, New Jersey. Oh we have God. another bingo. We have a whole Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the worst bingo game ever. You got a Russell Brand book. Sorry. Okay. You earned it. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, you're going... Do we do diagonal? Okay, Bums, 44 Charlton Pizza, how about you? Same thing. Uh, pizza, 44 Charlton Bums. Okay, I think we see how this works now. All right, well, this, this is This was a done. terrific experiment because there's no more gifts. Well, Jennifer, you know. you're the producer, go figure it out. Yeah, And while you're doing that, that, let me invite you all to take just about a five-minute pause with us. We're going to let the 44 Charltones entertain you with their extraordinary talents. A blues and G, I think, is what I'd like to hear. And take this time, if you don't mind, to buy yourself another drink, tip generously at the bar, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, tweet us out. All right? We're 44 Charlton. We'll be, we're going to be putting our social media tags on the screens. Please help us tell more people about the show. We'll be back in five minutes.
The 44 Charlestones, ladies and gentlemen. I see you decided to stop that on your own. Thank you so much for doing that. John Spurney, L Leon B Boykins, and Ben Ahrens, ladies and gentlemen. One more warm round of applause. Thank you so much. So in the interest of parity, in the interest of equality, transparency, accountability, trust, etc., I'd like to do another little uh, audience interview back on in, uh, Uncle Charlie's Chamber of Chit Chat. But this time, I'd like, uh, I'd like to talk to uh, a gal, a woman, a female, a female. Come with me. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to drink, too. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna get to drink out of someone else's cup. Nice. Oh, you were? Everybody pointed to you as if there was something really exciting to be had. Thank you so much. What is your name? Katya Kelly. Yep. I, I sense an accent. I'm hearing. German. Oh, yeah. das ist gut. Yeah, das ist nicht France. schlecht. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Tschüss. Tschüss. Yeah. 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 That's what I know. What yeah. else do I know? <laughs> Eine kleine Nacht Music. Everything I know is from Mozart. Um, yeah. What brings you to the show tonight? Uh, we've been coming for I don't know how many years. We started off uh, coming here for the Battle of... Uh, oh, the Battle of the Bor Battle? Burrows. Yeah, and then that oh. kind of like I think this is actually the weird, like, uh, morphed out version of that. Yeah, exactly. We are groupies, so... Oh, we've, that's nice. So you're, you're our like green space ever. groupies. Yeah. That's yeah. terrific. Are you living in New York? Uh, living in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, yep. that's is good also. <laughs> um, everybody seems to be from Brooklyn these days. Yes. This used to be sort of an Upper West Side crowd. But uh, I guess they all died, and now everybody... 
everybody <laughs> is from. That's what happens. That's what happens. It's good. It's good for business, though. You got to renew. Yeah. Um, uh, tell me more about your life. Who? What do you do here? How do you spend your time? What's your thing? Tell me what your thing oh, is. Well, oh. Um, okay. All right. Oh, apparently Since there's a blog. Yes, I've been writing a blog about my neighborhood in uh, in Brooklyn, New York, Carroll Gardens. Beautiful Carroll and, Gardens. Uh, I'm kind That's of. That's a good drag name, right? Carol yeah, Gardens. Yeah, Carol Gardens. Yep. Has anybody done that yet? Yeah. Carol Gardens? This just seems so obvious. All right, yeah. sorry, go ahead. So, everybody knows me in my neighborhood because I uh, exposed the fact that Paul Manafort had bought a brownstone in Carol Gardens. And I looked at the finances, and the finances were kind of like odd. And you are shitting uh, me. No? That's you? That's me. <laughs> I'm kissing these feet. Let me kiss them. Let me kiss them. Yes, I want whatever swag we have back there, bring it out. I don't care whatever you got. That yeah, is that's fabulous. Me. And uh, yeah, the Russians haven't got me yet, so I'm no, still here. No, but yeah. oh, oh, sit down. <laughs> That could happen any minute. That's amazing. So you're a yeah. citizen journalist and a... Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. That's, I'm actually really thrilled to know this, and I'm yeah. very grateful. Um, well, I mean, I had to clear it with my husband first. I said, should I really write about this? I mean, this could be kind of like iffy. And he said, go for it. And, Where is uh, he? He is right there. Yes. Uh, yeah. The support of a loving He's man behind exactly. every great woman is a exactly. decent man, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, it's, yeah. I'm really so glad that um, you came up. Oh, here you go. Oh, thank you. Here's your prize. Here's your prize. Thank you so much. Thank you. Will you sit here and enjoy the next act? Awesome. 44 Charlton, ladies and gentlemen. How do we do it? Our, our final act of the evening is someone I actually do know well. I've enjoyed his music for a very long time. And recently, uh, I caught a workshop of a musical that he's been writing out in... Uh, the workshop was in Queens. I don't know where the musical exactly takes place. But it is um, a musicalization of one of my favorite books, uh, Orwell's Animal Farm. I found it extremely beautiful and moving when I saw it. And I asked him if he would share some of the music with us here at 44 Charlton. Uh, he is, I just want to make sure I get this exactly right, a composer, vocalist, and writer, uh, described as golden-voiced, soulful. Uh, he's an artist in residence with Brooklyn Arts Council. Brooklyn again, coming through. A member of the New Dramatist 2019 Composer Libretta Studio and the 2019 Joe's Pub Working Group. Please give a round and warm welcome to Trevor Bachman and the cast of Farmed.
That was beautiful. Tell me your name. Jonathan Christopher. Jonathan Christopher, that was very beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank your you. voice is very moving, as are all of yours. I want to spend a minute with you, however, uh, young person. Where do, I, where do you want to do this? Um, I'll come up here. Okay, great. That would be wonderful. <laughs> this thing is super high up. Oh, there there you go. go. Trevor Thanks. Bachman, thank you so much. And just an addendum to your introduction, my pronouns are they, them. Yes, you know, as soon as I put down the mic, I was like, ah, I You know, we're all learning. Yeah, we yeah. really are. I yeah. just learned super slowly. But thank you yeah. for reminding me. Tell me um, how you came to the idea mm -hmm. to turn this particular work into a work of music. Yeah, so um, it all started on the day of the inauguration. Um, <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> a day that lives in infamy. And, uh, and instead of watching the inauguration, um, I pulled out this book that was in my backpack with me. I was on a train, uh, and it was Animal Farm by George Orwell, which I had read in high school, but um, hadn't really encountered for a long time. But I remembered feeling something very deep and very urgent when I read it. And um, when I was reading the book, I realized that everything that is happening right now at this moment in our country and this moment in our world has happened before, has been written about, and there is a history of all of this um, underbelly that's unfolding right now. And it's, a, and it's important to be aware and remember our history. And so um, Farmed is an attempt to address that. Great. Mm -hmm. That's it. I mean, there you go. That's super complete. And I'm just so eager to like turn the stage back over to you because, yeah. as you know, when I heard this music uh, last year out in Astoria, I was kind of like just really um, unsettled by it. It's very beautiful and very meaningful, and uh, I'm very hopeful that uh, a, a large audience will see it soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn the stage back over to you with my thanks mm -hmm. and let you tell us what's next. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Trevor. Um, so the next song you're going to hear um, is based on a character in Animal Farm called Molly. And Molly uh, is every single one of us in the hashtag activist generation. And the central question of Molly is what must we give up for the revolution? This is such a divided time for America. This is the most divided we've ever been. Um, but I wonder 
what is the possibility, what is our capacity to heal? And so this song um, is a reflection on that. It's called Nation in Rehab. If my mind could picture any kind of picture, if my mind could picture a future,
Farmed um, is made possible by all these people on stage here. Jonathan Christopher, David Andre, Angel Lynn, Barry McLean, Elijah Caldwell, and Chrissy Albanese. Elena Bonomo on drums and KG Ishiguri on keys. And this is just a fraction of our group. We perform with a 25 person choir. We mean business. Um, as we leave you today, I want you to think about what is the work that you need to do to take us all to the next place. I'm Trevor Bachman, thank you. Dynamo, 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 dynamo. Dynamo, 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 dynamo. Supply, supply of electrical power. Keeping you warm, warm, warm in the winter. Fantastical images, brightly conjured machines. Dynamo, why I know I'm gonna do the work for you. Dynamo, 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 dynamo. Open by a stone One piece of chalk Is how I can talk My heart Drawing line after 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 line I'm moving rapidly I'm such an anomaly of working hogs and glass So throw your stones at me and watch the beauty of my body Images brightly conjured machines. Dynamo, why I know I'm gonna do the work for you. Trevor Blackman and the cast of Farm, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so very much. Very beautiful to have you here. Thank you. Please don't leave the stage, though. I wouldn't want to lose these beautiful voices as we go through our uh, final ritual of the night, ladies and gentlemen, which uh, those of you who've been here before uh, will recognize. If you're new to the show, then I ask you to stand up on your actual feet. Grab the hand of whoever's standing next to you. I don't care if you know them or not. In fact, if you don't, that's even better. And let's sing a song together, shall we? I think it's gonna feel good. Ready? If you don't know the words, you can look up on the screen because they're all there. Hey, Jude. Harmonies. Hey, Jude. 
I'd like to share the names of the people who make this show happen every week, and I do love them very much. They work very hard. They're Eileen Delahunty. She's our director. Wave, everybody. You know Jennifer Sendro? Sachi Azura, she's new this month. I hope she stays a long time. Cam Tompkins. Mm. Ricardo Fernandez. Games Aguirre. And Chase Culpon bringing you the sound and the lights. Utsuki Otsuka, Ernie Andrade, and Shawnee Brown. These people are the real people. Courtney Barth, Dave Keating, Dave McLean, and Francesco Saviano. They make it happen. Don't forget about my friend, John Sperney, Leon Boykins, Ben Ahrens. And now, we're gonna take it to the bridge. Let it out and let it in. Thank you, Thank you all very much.